Hello all, I'm Rafaela and I have been working with Quality Assurance for the past 13 years. Today I'm going to explain what it means to be a QA and things you need to consider. So my job is to assure that we deliver software applications with quality. I'm also responsible to think about the test automation that is about creating scripts to run the same pack of tests every time we have a release. So we don't need to do this manually. I'm going to use our chair as an example of how many different scenarios you can think of when testing it. We call this technique heuristic evaluation where we learn about the product and make questions about it. So first, the HAP path examples. The user who is an adult can sit, turn to one side or another and sit. The user is a, a toddler um, and can sit, but then might not be able to, to uh, touch the floor with the feet. All of these scenarios are HAP path. The user is able to execute the function which the chair was designed for. So let's go to the negative scenarios. The user, uh, the, ch the user turned the chair upside down. The user lay the chair down the floor. Two or more users try to sit on the chair. The user jumps on the, ch on the chair the user stands on the chair, the user left the chair outside under the rain or snow, is this going to ruin the chair? The user, the user throws the chair on the floor, how resistant is this chair? So all of these scenarios are possible, but it doesn't mean they are the right thing to do with the chair. You can see that to raise some of these uh, scenarios, I had to make some questions. This is another responsibility of QAs and software test engineers. We raise concerns and possible bugs as soon as possible in the early stages. In some projects, we have meetings during the beginning of the life cycle of the feature. There is a meeting called Three Amigos which combines the knowledge of a developer, a business analyst or product owner, and a QA. But also you can have meetings called elaboration and planning to discuss the features that are coming up to be developed. During these sessions, we will figure out what the feature is about, what the client needs, how and when the client is going to use it, what is going to be the impact of the feature. Then we raise risks according to the knowledge that we have about the product and our experiences. Thinking outside of the box is the most important skill that a QA needs to have. For this reason, we have different roles for QAs and devs. Because even though they are both technical positions, QAs need to have a different mindset when thinking about the tests. We need to think about the business, risks, and all the different scenarios that the user will be able to execute and what needs to happen. Nowadays, QAs or testers have also different title, like test automation engineer, software developer in test. Some of these titles are not different, the, um, are to differentiate the QAs that are able to code and the ones that are not. So basically the automation scripts that I mentioned in the beginning of the slides. Hope this video explain a bit about the QA tester role in the tech industry. Thank you.